After months of anticipation, GPT-5 just dropped, and OpenAI is calling it their smartest, fastest, and most useful model yet. In this video, I'll show you exactly what's new, where to get it, and then we'll put those claims to the test. My name is Talon, and let's dive in. You can start using GPT-5 right now completely free. Just head to chatgpt.com and sign in. GPT-5 is now the default model. If you're on the free plan, you'll get full GPT-5 access until you hit your daily limit, which is somewhere in the range of about 30 messages per day. Once you hit that, it automatically switches to GPT-5 mini so you can keep going without any interruption. So what's actually new in GPT-5? OpenAI says it's their smartest and fastest model yet, and for the first time, it's fully unified. If you've used ChatGPT before, you probably remember having to choose between different models. Do I want GPT-4.0 for more general tasks? Do I want the reasoning model that thinks for longer but takes forever? Or do I want the mini version that's fast but not as smart? It was honestly a hot mess and most people had no idea which one to pick. Well, that's all over now. GPT-5 replaces all of them. Every single model option you used to see in that dropdown, gone. There's just GPT-5 now. But here's the best part. It automatically decides how long to think based on what you're asking. If you ask it something simple like, write a haiku about why my Wi-Fi always dies during Zoom calls, it responds instantly. But if you give it a more complex task, like plan a detailed 14-day Bali itinerary for a group of four digital nomads traveling in December with a total budget of $6,000 USD, include a balance of adventure activities, at least four, relaxation days, and authentic local food experiences, but avoid tourist traps. Consider weather, travel times between locations, and Wi-Fi availability for remote work. Present the plan as a day-to-day -day table with estimated costs in USD. It'll pause, think for up to a full minute, and then give you an incredibly detailed answer. And if you're in a rush, you can still click to get a quick answer. No more model choosing, it just knows. Behind the scenes, it's actually two different models, but it decides which one to use based on your intent. If you're on the paid plan, you can still manually choose GPT-5 thinking mode to get extended reasoning power. And according to OpenAI, GPT-5 outperforms both the O3 reasoning model and GPT-4.5 in both reasoning and creativity, while also being more reliable with fewer hallucinations. That's a bold claim. And in a second, we're gonna put that to the test. All right, so in their live stream, OpenAI did a demo where they had GPT-5 create a fully playable game right within the chat window. So for our demo here, we're gonna see if we can recreate something similar. So I put together a prompt here that has instructions on creating this type of a game. So to provide a little context here, within my school community, AI Quest, our whole theme for the community is like a fantasy RPG game that's rooted in Greek mythology. Our main protagonist for the AI Quest universe is a character called Automedes. The game concept here is gonna be called the Data Blade Awakening. Automedes wields the Data Blade, that's kind of like his weapon of choice. So the game concept here is your Automedes, a hero heroic warrior wielding the mystical Data Blade, exploring ancient Greek temple ruins to awaken your weapon's true power by collecting data crystals while battling mythological creatures. So I'm not gonna go through the whole prompt, but we outline things like visual design, player character, controls, gameplay mechanics, all this good stuff. And by the way, if you want access to this whole prompt, I'll be sharing this within my school community, AI Quest. So uh, feel free to click the link in the description to join. It's completely for free. I'll go ahead and just run this prompt and see what we get. All right, so we can see here, this is a new feature of GPT-5. It's gonna say thinking longer for a better answer. And we'll just give this a minute. All right, so it thought for 11 seconds and then it's gonna open up the canvas and start writing the code. I'll go ahead and skip ahead because this might take a little while and I'll let you know roughly how long this took to actually generate the full code for this game. All right, so after about five minutes, GPT-5 was able to complete the task and it looks like it generated the full code here with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So the real question is, does it actually work? So I'm gonna click on run code to see what we get. Okay, sweet. It looks like we have the data blade awakening. That was what we asked for. And we have 100 HP, crystal score, all the different controls here. So I'm gonna press space to see if this actually works. Okay, space, jump works, double jump works. Okay, let's see if we can actually, we're collecting crystals. Oh my God, the controls are really sensitive. Oh God, oh God, oh God, and I'm dead. Oh, oh, oh yeah, and we have fallen. Uh, you, you get the idea, it looks like the game does work. It's not working like perfectly. And again, we could go back to the code and refine it and adjust it to make it work the way that we want it to. But yeah, you kind of get the idea here. Is this gonna be the next Zelda Breath of the Wild? No. But the fact that we can generate even this level of a game within just a few minutes with a single prompt is pretty damn impressive. So again, if you want the prompt that I use to generate this version of the game, I'll leave that in my community AI Quest. Links in the description down below. 
Now, GPT-5 isn't the only thing launching today. ChatGPT itself is also getting some major upgrades, and here are the ones actually worth your attention. First up, you can now connect Gmail and Google Calendar. Just go to your profile, then settings, then connectors, and you'll now see Gmail and Google Calendar right there. This means you can ask ChatGPT to do things like scan my inbox for brand sponsorship opportunities and summarize the key details in bullet points. You could also ask it to draft a follow-up email to everyone who didn't respond to my proposal last week, or even find a three-hour block for a Mario Kart tournament with my friends because priorities, right? This feature is rolling out to pro users first with more plans to follow later. Next, we have some new customization features. Again, if you go to your profile, then click Customize ChatGPT, you'll be able to change your assistant's personality and even customize the chat colors. During my testing, I was able to choose from personality options like Cynic, Robot, Listener, and Nerd. Personally, I'll probably be using the Cynic option a lot for when I want ChatGPT to stop sugarcoating my terrible ideas. And yeah, I'll probably use the Nerd option a lot too because it only seems fair that my assistant's personality would match my own. So comment below, which personality options are you gonna be using and why? I'd be curious to know. Third, voice mode has gotten a big upgrade and is now called advanced voice mode. All right, so from the chat, to start a new voice mode conversation, you're gonna just click on the use voice mode button. I want your help putting together the perfect productivity system for me, but the challenge is that I get distracted really easily. Totally got you. All right, so here's the quick consultant style breakdown. We'll just focus on a simple routine that's distraction friendly, and we'll toss in a couple of fun tricks to keep you on track. And we can definitely laugh at those distractions along the way. Sorry, I just got a notification about a YouTube video on how sloths can swim faster than they walk. Uh, wh what were you saying? Oh, sloth videos are a top tier distraction. I totally get it. Honestly, we can just slide that right into your productivity system. Maybe the secret is giving yourself a sloth break as a reward. But yeah, let's get back to it. We'll keep it fun and easy. Okay, so then what should I do next? All right, so next up, let's just pick one small focus block to start with. Kind of like a mini mission before your next sloth video. Keep it simple, one task, short time frame, and we'll build from there. Let's keep it nice and easy. Okay, so I get that task done, and then I could watch the sloth video? Exactly. You got it. Think of it like a little reward system. Knock out that one focus task, and then you can dive into the sloth content guilt-free. It's all about keeping it fun and doable. Awesome. I like the sound of that. So this is a big step up from the old version. Conversations feel smoother and more natural without as many awkward pauses. And finally, we have study mode, which is already live for all users. This gives you guided step-by-step -step instructions to learn pretty much anything, from building an AI agent to making your own hot sauce. It adapts to your pace and guides you like a personal mentor. All right, so to use study mode from the chat, you're just gonna click on the plus button here, hover over more, and then click on study and learn. From there, we're gonna type in, help me learn how to set up a Facebook advertising campaign for my business. My goal is to generate more sales and I have my Facebook business manager pulled up in front of me right now. So we'll fire that off. Okay, great. And then it's going to ask us a few questions for additional context. So I'll go ahead and answer those right now. Okay, so we'll answer the initial questions. Cool, and then it's gonna start breaking this down step by step. So step one is gonna be to create the pixel. It's gonna give us the detailed instructions on exactly how to do that. And then we would just keep going back and forth until we actually complete that process that we're looking to learn here. So that's your first real look at GPT-5 and some of the exciting new features coming to ChatGPT. The unified intelligence system is a major improvement for everyday use. The performance boost is definitely noticeable and the platform updates are opening up some really exciting new possibilities. It's not perfect, but it is faster, smarter, and more capable than anything we've had before. And if you wanna get hands-on with GPT-5 and not just watch me talk about it, you can click the link in the description to join me inside of AI Quest. You'll get the full prompts, resources, and walkthroughs from this video, plus a whole library of tutorials to put AI to work in your life and business. It's completely free to join, at least at the time of this recording. And if you enjoyed this video, drop a like so I know to make more GPT-5 deep dives and subscribe to the channel to keep leveling up with AI. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.